collision with pregnant woman leads to a long hospital stay, but it's still a good recovery. Find out more details below. Tell us a little bit about this recent case we had that we would consider one of our client victories here. Tell us about Miss A.S.'s case. Yeah, so for Miss A.S., this was driving and the adverse driver ran a stop sign and Miss A.S. just T-boned her at 40 miles an hour. Um, at the time of the collision, she was 27 years old and she was also 23 weeks pregnant. So a lot of times in these T-bone collisions, we have a situation where the police may blame, you know, our victim, for lack of a better word, for the accident. Did any of this come up or was it pretty clear from the get-go that, you know, the other party was at fault? So fortunately, in this case, it was pretty clear from the get-go, the adverse driver was actually cited for failure to yield. So she was fortunate because a lot of times it's a contributory negligence situation. Yeah, and that's what I was I was sort of hinting around is the, the insurance company sort of blamed our party or say maybe they could have avoided the accident or driven a little slower or something like that. But in this case, none of that was there. Correct. And what were Ms. AS's initial injuries at the scene? Uh, man, at the scene, she got really messed up. She broke her pelvis. She broke her left hand and her hip. And then while she was in the hospital, they had to insert uh, pins and screws into her pelvis and her hip and plates as well. Wow, that seems like basically massive injuries at the scene. Um, how was her recovery during this time period? So her, for her recovery, it was, it was brutal. She had to go through a whole bunch of rehab I believe it was about four or five months of rehab just every single day. She was in the hospital for about two weeks, and then she got moved to outpatient therapy. She had a real tough time getting back into fighting shape. And how did the insurance company respond to all this? Were you able to get her a, a good settlement overall? Absolutely. I was able to get her $100,000. I just kind of laid some little trails about what her injuries were, and then I dropped the bomb. Oh, and she's also pregnant with a broken pelvis. And then immediately they tendered 100000 And was that the, the total of the policy that was available in this case? Yes, sir. It was the total amount available. Now, sometimes when we have injuries that are this substantial, there's a larger um, subrogation claim where the, the insurance company or whatever paid her medical bills or the hospital tries to grab all that money and keep it to themselves. Were you, was this a case here? Did you have to protect some of her money? What were we able to do in that case? So fortunately for Miss A.S., uh, the subrogation claim was for about $33,000, which would have been the pro rata amount anyway. So she's pretty much all full and final for about $28,000. All right. So basically, it sounds like all of her bills we were able to get paid. Yes, because everything. For a reasonable sum of the money. And uh, what was, how did she feel at the end of the day? She was ecstatic. And I also have to say, Miss A.S. was incredibly lucky because she did not have any insurance whatsoever. No yeah. uninsured motorist coverage, no liability coverage. She is very fortunate that this individual had great liability policy. Well, wow. so she didn't have any insurance of her own. So if she'd been hit with somebody who had lesser insurance, she would have had a, a much, much worse recovery. Absolutely. If she got hit by an uninsured motorist, uh, she, she was out of luck entirely, despite all these injuries. And at the end of the day, you said, how did she feel about the accident itself? Uh, she was incredibly upset about the accident, but she was thrilled with the outcome. She was able to walk away with about $30,000 in her pocket. Okay. And all of her bills being paid. So uh, it sounds like she, she basically felt lucky that uh, she had to use her lawyer and you, her bills were able to be contained to that amount. And uh, she was able to walk away with some, some good cash. Absolutely. Uh, when I spoke with her last to tell her the full and final amount, she said that our firm was a blessing and she would recommend us to anyone. Wow. Well, that's exactly what we like to hear, Alex, from our clients. So great job there. Glad you were able to help her and uh, get a great recovery and that she was happy with everything as well. So it sounds like you did a wonderful job. Yes. Thank you. In pain, call Shane. Nine eight zero nine 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 nine. Nine eight zero nine 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 nine. Shane Smith Law, in pain call Shane.